Hello everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to a game I've been looking forward to for quite some time now. Soma, psychological sci-fi horror game from the creators of Amnesia and the Penumbra series. So, without any further preamble than that, let's jump right into the game and see what's going on. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Philip K. Dick. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah, ah. Christ. Wow. That, uh... God, that's annoying. Oh, that's pretty much what my phone sounds like, except I have an even more high-pitched, annoying beeping sound. Also, uh, let me just pause for a second. I think I have the audio just a tad bit too high, so let's, uh, knock it down. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play it. Oh! Before I forget. Uh, subtitles? Yes. Closed captioning? No, I don't think we need that. Uh, return to game. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Wow. I'm already completely immersed in this. This is awesome, isn't it? Toronto Festival of Literature. You know, I've never been to that. Let's see. Interference. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Beige Noise Tour. Mandrid, London, Toronto, New York, Los Angeles. Ooh, a message. Hey, Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was... Something you were doing, was it this weekend, or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Let's see here, what if we... Ooh. I don't know why I'd want to throw that. Yeah, what a mess. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? What's this? Ooh. Exciting. What about this? Ooh, a picture of a bug. So I'm gonna call it now, but what do you want to bet that one of the big twists that's gonna be in this game is that we're either a robot this entire time, or we're going to get turned into a robot. What do we have here? What does that say? Something, something, N712... Condition? Maybe? Commotion? Something. Aw, get well soon, love mom. Aw, oh, that is adorable. What's that say? Something... Can't quite read the text on that. That is adorable. I'm loving this game more and more. Checkbook? Ugh. I don't need checks. What was that? Ugh. Mm. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Oh, that's sunlight. Ugh. We don't need sunlight. Alright, let's see here. Downtown accident kills young woman. Oh, this is in Toronto. Nice. I'm assuming this is Toronto, Ontario. I mean, that's the Toronto I think of. Though there's like a dozen Torontos in the US, for instance. Yesterday, a driver tracked by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Blo oh, Bloor Street and Spadina Road. 
Lover and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised, largely unharmed. The other party were less lucky. Okay. Incidentally, let me know right away in the comments of this video if you want me to actually read all these, or if you would prefer me not to for the sake of flow and so forth. Ooh, what's this? Cinema Variety. Summer Blockbusters. Oh. Animation. Stunt. Oh, wait a tick. Get oh, okay. I was hoping it would show the little text there. Is that a remote? I don't really know. Press and hold R to rotate objects. Ooh. Ooh, they've really improved this from my memory of how the rotate function worked previously. Let's have a look at our computer. What's going on here? David Munchy, Neuropath, thank you again. Blah, blah, blah. Hates laboratories. Guest access is a bit unpredictable. Blah, blah, blah. Saturday. Okay. Prescription. What kind of drugs are you on? I already forget the name of our character. <laughs> Memory of a goldfish, indeed. Happy year, your headaches become less frequent. The latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I'll see you next week. Okay. I probably forgot... Oh! Oh, I forgot to hit send. <laughs> oh boy. Better late than never. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh my goodness, there's just... Stuff to read everywhere. So, his girlfriend is dead. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, what else can we look at? I want to look at everything. Grimoire. Ooh, a comic book signing. Very provocative, an image of your feet. Okay. That's how true nerds live. No direct contact with sunlight whatsoever. Mapping the mind. Okay, that's it. When are we going to the creepy underwater world? Massive recoil. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Oh god. I can't imagine living a life where I could not <laughs> look at a screen all day. Would life even be worth living? Oh, cool. Wee, wee. Okay, I'm getting... <laughs> Wait, this whole first video is gonna be me just exploring the apartment, isn't it? Yeah. What have we got here? Those better be empty. But, yeah. And come on. This is just messing with my inner need freak. Yeah. Put your garbage away, sir. I'm in control now. To-do list, huh? Remind Jesse, pick up meds, flowers for funeral. Ah, uh, that'd be your girlfriend's funeral. Oh. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. Yeah. You know, this guy's voice, I'm pretty sure, is in fact... I'm recognizing it. Well, just, it's daytime, but we'll have all... Grab our keys. I don't think we're going anywhere. Whoa. <laughs> anywhere just yet. No, we don't need that. Oh my god. You know, there was a time where I could eat all the fast food in the world. And it wouldn't bother me a bit. These days... Anyway, I will put down the lid for some reason. Oh, this is a very beautiful looking game, by the way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I get so... If you've been with the channel for a while, you'll know that I get easily... Yes, I get very easily impressed by these things. Glug glug. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Yes. yes I don't it. want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Okay. I like this guy's sort of like down, like very understated tone of voice. He's very, like he's only half interested in what he's doing. All right, let's roll. All right.
Yo. Hey, buddy. You okay there? You don't look okay. Nope. Is that me? No, it is me. Oh, I can. Nah, we'll listen to him. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. I like this Jesse guy. He seems like a nice guy. Are we being, we're being set up? I think that guy, he knows something we don't. It's always the crazy homeless people who know all the answers in these games. They've seen some things, man. Now where are we? Is this, uh, Rachel, Hello? was it? Oh no. Dr. Munchie? We're about to be abducted, aren't we? We're gonna be sent to the crazy house. But, so apparently we're dying of whatever's in our brain? I don't think the doctor would mind if we just go browsing on his where computer. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. Got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Oh, something's going on. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models. And also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could use some tests tomorrow, or run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Locked out. Uh-oh. Found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Way about having him... Uh, vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. That's very kind of you, sir. And it's probably in here- also, yes. Controls are very familiar, by the way, if you've ever played, uh, Penumbra or Amnesia. What do we have going on here? A moment deaf, tweak for right length, something something blurry, something something probably oven cover. That's what I'm reading from that, I'm probably completely wrong. Improved reverse projector technique, 2501, that's probably the code. I'll just slide you on in there. Anything cool in here? What have we got? Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. It can, can it? Damn it. I'm not going to read this whole article. But damaged brain scan to procedure computer model. Uh, numerous tests conducted on model without risk. Perfected treatment is unapplied. This is pretty cool. But they're doing more than just... Oh wait, was that a USB drive? Can we do something cool with that? No, apparently not. That's unfortunate. I've already forgot the password. 2501. Remember that, everyone. 2501. 2501. 2501. There we are. Get some... The devil's going on up here. I don't like this place already. The old wa- ooh. Yeah, I don't mind wasting water. 2501. 2501. Booyah! We are the greatest. Why do I want to run? <laughs> What's gonna happen? Oh boy. What's his schedule say? James G? Okay. Here. Yeah. That. I don't think that should be locked. Or this. What if I needed to get in that? What if there was an emergency? You can't just lock these things. Ooh. 
I believe that's that's the explosive symbol. Things can go boom. Uh, room six, three sixty four. <laughs> what is this? There's also some human in there. I don't know if we want to go in there. Let's be nosy for a bit. Blood, blood. What the hell is this? What are you guys doing? Your stuff is creeping me out. All right. We probably just missed like the first secret of the game there, but. Oh damn it! Oh hi! Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett. Oh right? Simon. Dr. Munchie. Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So, you're not even a real doctor? What did we sign up for? Also, by the way, did I forget to mention that it's pretty cool that our character here, Simon, works in a comic book store? Or something of that nature? Pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Not necessarily my dream job, I would say, so, but pretty cool. what exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> you know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. I like your thinking, Doc. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. No more dialogue? All right. I like to exhaust all the dialogues. I like immersing myself in this stuff. So, sorry if that annoys you guys. All right, strap us in. It's time for some total recall action. Also, is anyone a little creeped out by the idea that they're reconstructing our brain? Like, doesn't that at all sound like AI? In fact, doesn't that sound kind of like the movie Transcendence? Sort of, maybe? Oop. Alright, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Oh god. It's begun! Also, it's pretty awesome that we're currently in Canada, apparently, in the setting of this game, and playing as a Canadian. You don't see that happen very often. What happened? Oh my. No, we still look human. Hello? Mr. Munchie? But it's all a lie, isn't it? Did something go wrong? <laughs> oh, you have no idea, pal. You have no this idea. This isn't funny. Simon. Oh, am I doing that? I'm not sure if I did that. Let's just sit back down and hope everything... I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... <laughs> the devil are we doing down here? It's very... This is kind of stressing me out! Oh, calm down, Simon. Don't be a pansy. Oh. Hey! Anyone? Ooh. Shiny. Hello? Uh, do I really want that door open? Service console. Pathos 2, eh? Insert Omni-Tool to access. I don't think we have an Omni-Tool. 
Omni Tools Chip Installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni Tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Toolbox. Okay. Oh, okay. Toolbox. Can we open this? We cannot. Should we put on a suit? I'm also mildly disappointed I can't look down and see myself, but that's not a big deal in any way whatsoever. I don't trust you. Automated unlock from service console. The devil's going on here. Also, uh, this first episode's probably going to be a bit long, I reckon, just to really get that feel for things. But not too long. Door opens and closes automatically. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, what am I... What am I trying to do here? Electrical hazard. Okay, suits. Things. Um... Am I giving me a hint game? I'm apparently... An idiot. Already stuck. Oh, oh shit. Oh, derp. Ooh, that doesn't look safe. Let's, uh, always remember, kids, if you have to break glass in order to, uh, get through something, always make sure you clean up the edges as much as you can. Apparently, we're not gonna do that here, though. Oh. Yeah. Hello? Ooh, an attic seal. Why were we locked in here, anyway? Yo! Do not enter. Electric shock. Always wear safety gear. Oh wait, I'm forgetting, this is a game. <laughs> this is obviously a game. What I meant to say is there's the uh, Q and E to be able to lean around. I, don't, I have no idea what I would look like if I saw myself doing that. Stop drop and roll. Saves us from everything. Someone didn't want to see themselves. So what do you want to bet we're a robot? And that they... They designed us because we died in that experiment, but they saved our brain to use as a, some kind of template for future artificial intelligence. We'll just smash through everything here. I don't think they'll mind. What in the blazes is that? Ew. It's like some kind of oil or tar. Hmm, just lube ourselves up. What's this? Some kind of strange bile organic material. I'm just randomly assuming it's bile. I'm getting actually very disturbed. What is this? It's a food cube. Dried beef. Tasty. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me put the few food, cu uh, food cubes in here. So, uh, rice. Okay. Get, get, get in there, you. And, uh, what are you? Curry mix. Alright. That sounds like a nice meal. Make me food, munch print. No, you're not gonna make me food? You bastard. How dare you. Alright. I'm not gonna end this episode until we see something dramatic happen. I reckon. Let's just go run with wild abandon. Yep. Of course, there's a key. There's always a key, isn't there? Oh. Never locked room. It's probably locked for good reason. Hello? See, our vision's getting all messed up. Something's going on here. We are not human. What the hell are you? Oh wait, this must be like, uh, like amnesia, where if you look at something disturbing, you sort of lose sanity or something. Incidentally, is, what, what's the menu in this? Or, no? There's no status menu? Wait, what's that? No, so we're looking at this, and a block appears, so I guess that means we have to put something in this or something? Maybe? Tab? Oh! Tab. I guess that's showing my inventory? It's showing something. I don't quite know what's going on here. Ah, Pathos 2 Upsilon. Oh. 
Did you move? Are you alive? Oh god! What did you do? Hey you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Yes. Why are you like this? There's like some structure gel? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. How did I do that? There's nowhere to hide. Yolo? Hello? Wait. Oh dear. Someone's up. Buddy? You there. Fire extinguisher. Why is that not in English? Damn it. I'm English, so I expect every language or every sign to cater to me personally. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. Hello? Oh. Hello? You know what? I don't think I want to know what's going on over there. Service station, storage, and robot dock. I do like robots, though. Robots are fun. Nope. No going that way. So, should I count all this as something dramatic having happened? Uh, we're almost half an hour in, so... Robot buddy? Robot buddy? You know what? I don't think we want to open that door. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not opening that door. I'm... I'm not that crazy. Let's just... let's just run over here and ignore it. Okay. Oh. Ow! Ah, oh, shit! Oh, jeez, there's water everywhere. It's also very dark and scary. Should... should we go back and open that just to see what happens? Nothing... Nothing ventured, nothing gained? Okay, so we have to, because this is a closed door. Wonderful! Uh, well, since I do seem to have a habit for wrapping up videos right before going through a scary door, let's uh, continue that tradition and wrap things up here. So, as always, thank you all for watching. As this is the start of a new series, it's really extra special important that you like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, just to, you know, let me know that you guys want more of this. And, just again, thank you all for watching. I mean, your support really does mean a lot. I am really, really excited to keep playing this. Hopefully you guys are just as excited. And I will see all you in the next video.